It was a small idea 40 years ago when race promoter Dave Coombs held the first ever Blackwater 100. It took riders over the toughest, roughest, muddiest terrain for over 100 miles, testing a motorcycle's existence. Now, today, we call this Amsoil Grand National Cross Country. Stick around, GNCC Live is next. Hello everyone and welcome to Racer TV. I'm Rodney Tomlin, this is Mikey Waynes, and here we are at Harpersville, New York for round 10 of America's premier off-road racing championship, the 2019 Amsoil GNCC Series presented by Specialized and AMA National Championship. And Mikey, I tell you, as we roll into Harpersville, New York, a brand new venue here in the, well, southern tier, I guess you would say, of New York. And what a beautiful place. I mean, we're looking around, the fall colors are already yeah. starting to pop up here in the north, and the weather's also a little bit chilly to this weekend as well. Yeah, I'm just stoked to be back GNCC racing. I know it's kind of unique to us this year. We went into the uh, the summer break with a new track. We come out of the summer break with a new track here in New York, and I'm, I'm excited to see how this one plays out. I most certainly am too. And for those of you not familiar with GNCC racing, tell you a little bit about it. It's an off-road woods racing series that uh, incorporates both motorcycles and ATVs. And of course, ATVs run on Saturday, motorcycles run on Sunday. Uh, generally an eight to 12 mile race course, and it's got some of the most uh, challenging terrain that you're gonna run across open fields, which sometimes isn't such a challenge, but you've got uh, wood sections, you've got hill climbs, you've got rocks, you've got a number of different things. And this week, we've got an enduro cross track. We absolutely do. So uh, we're gonna take it down to Jared Bolton, our junior trail boss, with a track description at that enduro cross section. Welcome to the all new Black Sky GNCC. We were slated to come here last year, but Mother Nature had other plans for us. But guess what? We're back this year, and this track's gonna be beautiful. It's got a little something for everyone, and I know I say that every weekend, but that's really true here. There's some fast areas, but there's also some really, really tight areas. The track's a little shorter than usual this week, but that's not gonna have a big effect on everybody. There's a few areas that are tight, and it's gonna slow things down, gonna make those lap times a little closer to what we normally see. Uh, there's good hardwoods here. There's some really rocky areas, which is a lot different than what we've seen whenever we've raced up at Unadilla in this area in New York. Overall, this is a beautiful facility. It's gonna be a great track with some great racing. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Jared. And I tell you, Mikey, that looks like it's gonna be a really nice track. We got some tight quarters here, but things are looking good. You're absolutely right. We'll be right back after these messages. Consistent clutch fuel is vital to effective starts or to confidently maneuver around obstacles on the trail. Amsoil synthetic dirt bike oil was subjected to an extreme simulated start test. After 32 simulated race starts, Amsoil synthetic dirt bike oil continued to deliver consistent clutch fuel and the clutch plates remained clean with no visible wear. The competitor's oil, however, allowed discoloration and significant wear after just 16 starts. Amsoil synthetic dirt bike oil. Give your bike the protection it needs. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Thanks a lot, Bolton. And Mikey, I tell you, this brand new racetrack, it's close quarters, but I think that the track is very well dialed in. This should be a very exciting racetrack on a lot of different levels. You're exactly right, Rodney. We're gonna take it down to Pro Row right now with our very own Johnny G. All right, thanks guys. Johnny Gallagher here. I'll be coming in from the pits all day. New venue here at the Black Sky GNCC in Harpersville, New York. The action's gonna be fast and furious, and we're gonna keep you guys informed on all of it all day today. Stay tuned to Racer TV. 
Well, thanks a lot, Johnny. And I tell you, a great perspective from Johnny's uh, idea. That's for sure. There's no doubt about it. And Johnny's got his thumb on the pulse of things, as uh, a lot of us do. And this has been a very challenging championship season. We saw it last year in 2018. At the end of the season, with injuries and things, things changed. But this yep. year, these final four rounds, these guys are locked and loaded and ready for the shootout, it looks like. You're, you're exactly right, Rodney. But there's still the guy out there. He's already in the GNCC record books. He says he's not done. We're going to talk with him right now, Caleb Russell. It's a little different uh, coming someplace where nobody's ever really raced. Uh, they've had some local races, it sounds like, in the past. But um, yeah, it's definitely tough. Uh, you don't know the lay of the land. You don't know where you're at on the track. And um, been able to cycle it and stuff, so uh, check it out. And it looks pretty, you know, typical New York. Um, hard, pa hard pack and spots, Rudy and it's got a little bit of a little bit of everything here. There's some soft dirt, there's some hard dirt, but it's just uh, shell rock and pretty rooty. But uh, it's um, definitely on the shorter side of tracks, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be one of those things. Everybody's going to have to deal with it. Caleb really seems to be calm, cool, and collected right now, and rightfully so. He should be in this position and situation. He's been here a few times, and one thing he's got to do is ride this season out and do just keep doing what he's been doing. On the other hand. Thad's looking for wins. Oh, yeah. You're exactly right. Thad wants to prove, uh, like we said, it's silly season. It's a chance for him to go out there and prove to himself as well as his team what he's capable of. Will he be able to do it? I don't know. Will somebody else step up? That's what I love about this. And, you know, we've also got our friends from uh, the New York Off-Road Association, Nioa, here with us yes. this weekend. So that's going to throw a whole new mix into it as well, man. This is going to be a great race day, Mikey. You're exactly right, Rodney. Well, we're going to take a word from our sponsors now. And when we come back, we'll be down at the GNCC starting line. 